In this video on functions with unknown coefficients, I'm going to be working through the example that we see here, in which we're given a rational function, which we can see has a horizontal asymptote as well as a vertical asymptote, and its equation is given to us right here. And we can see that it has three unknown coefficients, a, c, and d. We're also told that this curve passes through the point with coordinates 1, 4, and we need to find the three coefficients a, c, and d. So let's see how to do this. We know that this curve has an equation y equals to a over x plus c plus d. And for this type of function, rather than finding the coefficients in alphabetical order, I'm going to start by focusing on the denominator with the coefficient c, as well as this plus d that's being added here. And here's the idea. To figure out what c has to be on the denominator, we focus on the vertical asymptote. Since this vertical asymptote cuts the x-axis when x equals to 3, we can go ahead and state that its equation is x equals to 3. And remember, vertical asymptotes arise at values of x at which denominators equal to 0. And so the fact that this vertical asymptote has equation x equals to 3 tells us that if we replace x by 3, then this denominator would equal to 0. So to find c, we replace x by 3 and equate this denominator to 0. Here's what I mean. We can state that c must be such that 3 plus c equals to 0. And quickly solving this by subtracting 3 from each side leads us to c equals to negative 3. Done. Now that we know what c is, we focus on d. And for d, we turn to the horizontal asymptote we have, which cuts the y-axis at 5. And so its equation is y equals to 5. Now as soon as we're given a function like this one, the d that we have at the end here will always be equal to the value of y at which there's a horizontal asymptote. In other words, d is simply equal to 5. And now let me spend just a minute to further explain why d is equal to 5. Let's say for a second that we still don't know what d is, and I'll temporarily give you the value of a, which I'm going to prove to you in a minute. a is equal to 2. So this function's curve has equation y equals to 2 over x plus c, and since c was negative 3, that's x minus 3 plus d. Now, looking at the curve that we have here, we've already established that it has a horizontal asymptote whose equation is y equals to 5. And this curve gets closer and closer and closer to that line y equals to 5 as x gets bigger and bigger and bigger. And that's both on the right-hand side as well as on the left-hand side. And put simply, the bigger x gets, the closer this curve gets to y equals to 5. And so if I were to replace x by something really, really, really big, then the y value we get should get really, really close to 5. And to try and convince you of that, let's say I were to replace x by 1,000. Then we'd have y equals to 2 over 1,000 minus 3 plus d. And that would be y equals to 2 over 997 plus d. And you can go ahead and check, but rounding to three significant figures, that leads to y equals to 0 0.00201 plus d. And what we see here is that when x equals to 1,000, y is equal to something really small plus d. And we know just by looking at our graph that when x equals to 1,000, this curve will be a tiny bit above y equals to 5. And this 0 0.00201 is that tiny bit above 5, which definitely suggests that d is equal to 5. And what I showed you just now was with x equals to 1,000. And we could convince ourselves even further by replacing x by, say, 1 million in which case we get y equals to 2 over 1 million minus 3 plus d, and that would be y equals to 2 over 999,997 plus d. And by all means check, but that would be equal to 0 0.000002 plus d. And since we know that as x gets bigger and bigger and bigger, this curve gets closer and closer and closer to y equals to 5, we can tell that the only way for that to be possible is for d to equal to 5. Okay, enough said about d. Let's find the unknown coefficient a. Well, first of all, now that we know that c is equal to negative 3 and d is equal to 5, we can already rewrite this function's equation as y equals to a 
over x minus 3 plus 5. And now to find a, we use this important bit of information that's given to us in the question. And that is the fact that the curve passes through the point with coordinates 1, 4. To find a, all I have to do is replace any x I see inside this function's equation by 1, and replace y by 4. Then I solve for a. And here's what that looks like. So I replace y by 4, and that's equal to a over 1 minus 3, where I've replaced x by 1, plus 5. That leads us to 4 equals to a over 1 minus 3, which is negative 2, plus 5. And now I solve this equation for a. And for that, I'll start by getting rid of this 5 that's being added on the right-hand side. And I do that by subtracting 5 from both sides. So that becomes 4 minus 5, which is negative 1, equals to a over negative 2. And finally, since a is being divided by negative 2, I multiply both sides of this equation by negative 2. And I'll just write that underneath here. I'm multiplying this by negative 2 and the right-hand side as well. So this becomes negative 1 times negative 2, which is 2, and on the right-hand side we'll just be left with a. In other words, a equals to 2. And we're done. We've now found all three of the unknown coefficients a, c, and d. And so to finish, we could write this function's equation with the known coefficients. And so that would be y equals to 2 over x minus 3 plus 5. And that's the final answer. And there we go. That's it for this video on functions with unknown coefficients.